Well, good morning from my studio. Dennis Perrin here. And I want to uh, announce that this will be the first in a series of daily musings, if you will, from here in my studio. Uh, you can see behind me a large canvas and uh, I have a couple flowers set up just to get an idea of what the light's gonna be like and so forth. But um, starting tomorrow, I'll be creating a new large floral still life. Uh, one of a series of paintings I've been doing for the past several months and uh, would like to continue with these larger format paintings I'm really enjoying doing and I feel like I am stretching myself, challenging myself, really getting um, getting up to speed with some new ways of creating images on canvas. Now, I want to begin to talk every day from the studio briefly, just a short video um, about either what I'm doing and what's going on within my little world and how I can share that with you or some of my thoughts, my current thinking on the painting process and also on, um, you know, a, a broader um, view of living and creating um, your own reality and manifestation and all that kind of stuff. Those of you who've been following me for a while know that I'm really um, a fan of teachings like Abraham Hicks and the Transurfing, Reality Transurfing by Bottom Zealand. And uh, I wanna just uh, bring all that together in these conversations that we're going to have. Um, let's see. So let's talk about um, this particular series of paintings that I've been doing lately and also widen the, the view as to what's going on um, with them and with my own, you know, personal and um, artistic career uh, at currently. So, so I started these large format paintings back in December, I, when I did a very large 48 by 36 single P and E painting, which now, by the way, coincidentally or not, hangs at an exhibition in Moscow today, opened over the weekend, along with four other paintings of mine, all large format. Um, and that's the Art Life Fest 2020, sponsored by Art Life Moscow. Art Life Moscow is a wonderful organization. They promote international art. Uh, there, there are a number of artists from all over the world in the exhibition. Uh, we participated last year for the first time. We were hoping to go back again this year, but of course, with all the developments in the, um, in the world today, we were unable to travel there at this time but the paintings are there. So I have five paintings. I've been uh, graced by a number of people who are at the exhibition, sending me videos and still photographs of the paintings, as well as some of the staff. They're also reaching out and showing me how everything looks and what's going on. It's, a, it's an extraordinary event and I'm flattered to be part of it. At the same time, I have one of these large format paintings hanging at Sugar Lift's still uh, exhibition in New York City, in Chelsea. Um, that exhibit runs, I believe, through October 8th. It's a wonderful show. It's underneath the High Line in the um, uh, exhibition hall there where there I think are eight or nine galleries and th this exhibition occupies two of them and if you're in New York City it's well worth going by to see it um, 508 West 28th Street I believe is the address 
and uh, it's Sugar Lift uh, who sponsors this show and they have other shows going on as well. And so there's, uh, there's that. And of course, in my own gallery, I have uh, uh, a number of these pieces. And then I've also just recently agreed to be part of the, the stable of artists at the uh, wonderful gallery in Laguna Beach, Vanessa Roth Fine Art. And um, she will be carrying some of my work very soon. I also did a piece recently for her, uh, for her show called uh, Art and Fashion and look for that too. That'll be uh, popping up here and there. It was on my news feed or my Instagram feed. And I will say that much of my current situation that I have uh, and, and am, in, excuse me, am experiencing now at this point in time is the result of some of the the uh, principles that I was talking about earlier with manifestation, how you manifest your own personal reality. So that's something I want to explore, and I want to explore how it parallels the art of creation of a painting, and how you can create paintings that match up with what you want to create, how you envision your work to look and feel and who it'll appeal, appeal to and so forth by using some of these principles. So we're gonna mix a little bit of painting, talk, art talk. Um, I wouldn't, I don't necessarily wanna use the word metaphysical, but some people might say some of the metaphysical stuff that uh, you can be privy to that will help you in your art career, in your painting career, and in your life in general. So, this is installment number one of what I intend to have, a number of installments, daily conversations from the studio, if I'm in town here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, um, where my studio is located, downtown. And of course, if I'm out of town, I'll either do something on location wherever I am, or maybe skip that day and pick it up the next day. But anyway, thanks for joining me this morning, today, wherever you are. And uh, I look forward to meeting with you again tomorrow. Take care.